Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Manchineal Tree. Walking down a beautiful Caribbean beach, you might spot what looks like a perfect apple tree. The fruits look delicious. The shade looks inviting. But you've just found what locals call the little apple of death. Every single part of this tree can mess you up in horrifying ways. One bite of these beach apples and your throat will swell up so bad you won't be able to breathe. Survivors said it felt like swallowing broken glass. The sap is caustic and can burn through your skin. Even standing under it during rain is dangerous. The water dripping off its leaves carries enough toxins to blister your skin and temporarily blind you. Indigenous peoples used to dip their arrow tips in this tree's sap for a slow, painful death. They also reportedly tied enemies to the trunk as a form of torture. Even burning this tree can kill you. The smoke from burning manchineal wood causes temporary blindness. Sailors have gone blind for weeks after accidentally using this wood for their campfires. These trees are so dangerous that in many places they paint red rings around the trunk as a warning, but sometimes they're not marked at all. Number 9. Giant Hogweed This plant can grow up to 14 feet tall, towering over you with leaves wider than you are, but this majestic-looking plant is nature's version of a chemical weapon. Inside this plant is a clear, watery sap containing phototoxic chemicals. If this sap gets on your skin, nothing happens at first. But as soon as sunlight hits that spot, your skin starts burning like someone held a magnifying glass over it. The sap contains chemicals called furicumarins that make your skin extremely sensitive to UV rays. It's like the plant figured out how to weaponize the sun against you. Within 24 hours, you'll develop huge, painful blisters. We're talking third-degree burns that can leave permanent scars for years. If the sap gets in your eyes, it can cause severe eye damage or blindness. Someone brought it from the Caucasus Mountains because they thought it looked cool in gardens. Now it's spreading everywhere like a giant, poisonous weed, waiting to ambush unsuspecting hikers and gardeners. Kids have used the hollow stems as pretend telescopes and ended up in the hospital. If you see this plant, don't try to cut it down or pull it up. Just back away. Number 8. The Cone Snail That beautiful seashell on the beach with mesmerizing patterns might belong to a cone snail, and if it does, picking it up could be the last thing you ever do. Inside their pretty patterned shells is a tiny killing machine. It's got a harpoon-like tooth that it can shoot faster than you can blink. When that harpoon hits you, it injects a cocktail of hundreds of different toxins. One drop of their venom can kill several humans. This snail is packing more poison than a cobra. The venom is so potent that scientists nicknamed it the cigarette snail. Because if it stings you, you've got just enough time to smoke one last cigarette before you're done. The pain is so intense that some victims beg doctors to cut off the affected body part, but the venom can paralyze you within minutes. There's no antidote. Once you're stung, all doctors can do is keep you alive and hope you make it through. While you're fighting for your life, you'll be experiencing pain so intense that regular painkillers won't even touch it. Ironically, scientists are actually studying this snail's venom to make new painkillers. Number 7. The Flower Urchin It looks like a beautiful flower on the ocean floor, covered in pretty petal-like things, but this isn't a flower. It's the flower urchin one of the most venomous urchins in the sea. Those pretty petals are actually tiny venomous claws waiting to snap shut on anything that touches them. These claws are called pedicillariae, a pain delivery system. When you touch them, they snap shut like tiny bear traps filled with venom. A fisherman once barely brushed against one. Within seconds, he felt like his heart was being squeezed in a vice. His muscles started to freeze up. He could barely breathe, and his whole body went numb. It's like getting tased by a flower except the flower chose violence. These urchins collect bits of shells, rocks, and seaweed to cover themselves. Scientists think it might be for sun protection, because even deadly sea creatures need sunscreen. The craziest part? Tiny striped crabs actually live on these things. These crabs somehow figured out how to dodge all those venomous claws and made themselves at home. It's like watching someone set up a hammock in a minefield. Number 6. The Blue-Ringed Octopus This tiny octopus, about the size of a golf ball, might look cute but it carries enough venom to kill 26 adults in minutes. No cure exists for the venom. Their bite is so tiny you might not even feel it. The venom is called tetrodotoxin. It makes your muscles stop working and you suffocate while fully conscious. First your lips go numb, then your face, then everything else. Your body stops listening to your brain. You can see and hear everything happening around you, but you can't move or speak. It's like being buried alive in your own body. The only way to survive is to have someone manually breathe for you for about 15 hours until the toxin wears off. These little killers flash bright blue rings when they're angry. 
It's nature's way of saying back off or die. Some people see these pretty rings and think they should pick it up for a selfie. Those are usually their last thoughts. Number 5. The Lanamia Caterpillar Accidentally brushing against what looks like a harmless fuzzy caterpillar can make your blood start leaking out of every hole in your body. That's what happens when you meet the Lanomia Caterpillar. This little nightmare factory lives in South America, and it's basically nature's version of a biological weapon. Unlike other dangerous creatures, this caterpillar isn't showing off bright warning colors. It's camouflaged and ready to strike. When you touch it, thousands of tiny spines inject you with venom that stops your blood from clotting. We're talking about blood coming out of places you didn't even know could bleed. A simple paper cut turns into a blood fountain. The venom is so potent that people have actually died from internal bleeding after touching just one caterpillar. The symptoms don't show up right away. You might touch it and think nothing happened. Then a few hours later, you're in the emergency room watching doctors frantically try to stop you from bleeding out. You need specialized anti-venom treatment and you better get it fast. The locals in Brazil have a saying, if a snake bites you, you might make it to the hospital. If Lenomia stings you, you better already be in one. Number 4. Box Jellyfish Venom Swimming in the crystal clear waters of northern Australia, you feel a light brush against your leg. By the time you realize what's happening, it's already too late. You've just been tagged by the box jellyfish, owner of the most painful venom known to science. Each tentacle stretches up to 10 feet long and is loaded with millions of tiny poison dart launchers called nematocysts. These microscopic weapons shoot faster than a bullet when they detect chemicals on your skin. The venom doesn't just hurt you, it literally punches holes in your cells. It's like having millions of tiny drills boring into your body at once. Survivors say the pain feels like being struck by lightning and set on fire. Some victims have their hearts stop within five minutes of being stung. You might not even make it back to shore. And if you do survive, you've won weeks of the worst pain imaginable, plus severe scarring as a permanent reminder. These jellies aren't just floating around waiting to bump into you. They can swim at four miles per hour, and they have 24 eyes arranged in clusters around their bell. While you're swimming around admiring the pretty transparent jellyfish, it's actually hunting you. These ghostly assassins kill more people than sharks, stingrays, and sea snakes combined. Number 3. Lake Natron This lake in Tanzania turns animals into stone statues. The water is so alkaline it can burn your skin right off. Its pH level can hit 12, about as alkaline as bleach. The water can also reach temperatures of 140 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to give you third-degree burns. When birds fly too low, they sometimes crash into the lake's mirror-like surface. But instead of sinking or floating away, their bodies get preserved by the lake's chemicals. They turn into calcified statues, frozen in their final moments. Photographers have found these stone birds scattered around the lake's edges like a twisted art gallery. The lake often turns blood red from the bacteria living in it. A blood red lake full of stone animal corpses. Yet, this death trap is actually a paradise for flamingos. Millions of them breed here every year. They're the only creatures that can survive in this lake of death, walking around like it's a day spa. Local stories tell of humans who tried to swim in it. None survived. Number 2. The Bolton Strid A peaceful stream in England looks so calm you could hop across it. It's about 6 feet wide, but this isn't your average creek. It's the Bolton Strid, nature's perfect killing machine. Nearly everyone who falls in doesn't make it out. This narrow stream is actually a massive river turned sideways, just upstream, the river wharf is about 30 feet wide. When it hits the strid, all that water gets squeezed through this tiny gap and goes down. The strid is basically a river flipped vertically. It's incredibly deep, with underwater caves and tunnels carved out by the intense pressure. The current is so powerful it can pull a full-grown adult under in less than a second. And once you're under, those underwater caves and tunnels become your tomb. The surface looks completely peaceful, hiding the deadly maze just inches below. No bodies are ever found. The currents trap them in the underwater labyrinth forever. Local legend says the Strid has never given back a single body it's taken. Even experienced rescue divers won't go near this thing. One firefighter who almost got pulled in said it felt like the hand of death grabbing his ankle. Number 1. The Golden Poison Dart Frog Imagine holding something smaller than your thumb that could kill 10 people. That's the Golden Poison Dart Frog. One single frog carries enough poison to kill several grown adults. The amount of poison needed to kill you is smaller than a couple of grains of salt. The poison, called batrachotoxin, is right there on its skin. Just touching it with your bare hand could kill you. Poison enters through cuts or even intact skin, 
and cause paralysis, heart failure, and death. These frogs aren't born deadly. They get their poison from eating specific toxic insects in the wild. When raised in captivity on a different diet, they're completely harmless. The indigenous Embora people of Colombia would carefully rub their hunting darts on the frog's back. One frog could poison about 50 darts, making them deadly for over a year. Their bright yellow color isn't just for show. It's nature's warning label saying, don't touch me, I will kill you. So next time you're in the Colombian rainforest and see a cute little yellow frog, remember, that's not a friend. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.